currently seven miles in to this Fido X range test and I've left it on level two assist because it is quite a hilly ride. Yeah, so far I'm still showing a uh, five bars on the battery. I'm just about to go up a big climb. So I would imagine by the time I get to the top of this hill, it's about 280, 300 feet of elevation gain. I'm fairly certain I would have lost one bar by then, but I'll, um, yeah, I'll report back to you guys in a minute. So anyway, I've had the Fido X now for six months. I've been using it quite regularly, my shopping bike. So I only live about a mile from the shops, but I've got a big bag. I just go, go up there most days to get what I need for the kids. And for that purpose, it's actually really good. It's also going to be a good, um, a good commuter bike. It's very comfortable. It provides adequate assist, certainly for moderately rolling terrain. It does struggle on steeper hills, but it is only a small hub motor. The motor is very quiet, very smooth. It's got some nice safety features like the hydraulic disc brakes. And we've got a security keypad at the back, which is a nice additional feature. And there's now a smartphone app which is also quite good. Pairs up with the display via Bluetooth and it will automatically switch your bike on once you get close to it, providing the battery's powered up. So the ride I'm planning on doing today is probably around about 30 miles. It's a very hilly route. Unfortunately, all routes in Cornwall are hilly. Doesn't matter where you go, there's hills everywhere. I'm fairly confident that I'll do this route in level two and still have a little bit of battery left over at the end. Anyway, I'm just coming up to a steep bit now, so I'll sign off for a minute and I'll um, update you in a bit. Oh yeah. Well, we're just coming up to 15 miles into the ride. Lost one bar of battery so far, so I'm still showing four bars out of five. And I'm just about to make the big descent into the Tamar Valley, which is on the Devon Cornwall border. Let's go. I'm fairly sure there's a big climb at the end of this, so once I descend into the valley, there's a climb of about four or five hundred feet of elevation gain over a couple of miles up the other side. So I'm fairly sure by that time I would have dropped down to three bars. So I should have enough juice in the battery left to get me back home. Let's see how it goes. Another thing I should probably mention is the temperature today has dropped down considerably. According to the Met Office, it's down into single digits. It's kind of sort of nine, between eight to ten degrees. And that will affect battery performance slightly. Not as much as if it was freezing, but it will certainly have a negative effect on battery performance. But yeah, so far I think, you know, I've lost one bar of battery. Just come up to 15 miles. It's not bad going, not considering it's a hilly ride, I've left it in level two and I am quite a heavy rider weighing in at 105 kilograms or 16, 16 and a bit stone in old money.
come out now it's looking quite nice so guys i've got i've come down into the tamar valley i've got a big climb of about four to five hundred feet of elevation gain coming up over a couple of miles or maybe three miles and then after that i've got about 10 miles or so to get back home so yeah i'm fairly confident i'll do this on a single charge but we shall see how it goes hi right, again all right I just come to the end of that climb got a little bit more to go about i know quarter of a mile battery's dropped down to oh, i was dropped it had dropped down to two bars it's now gone back up to three again um i've still got about 10 miles left to do maybe nine miles so i'm fairly confident i'll get back and what i'll do is i'll um i'll report back to you guys when i get back home well i finally made it home and I'm quite impressed with how it performed actually as you can see from my GPS if I just press on the resume bit right I've done 26.2 miles burnt through 1200 calories did keep it in level 2 14 and a half mile an hour average speed with 2436 feet of climbing and the battery did drop down to one bar on the last little hill just before home but it's crept back up the two bars again so that would suggest to me that there's probably at least another 10 maybe even 15 miles in the battery now previously i have had i've i think the longest ride i've done on this in one go is probably about 37 38 miles and but that was a lot less hillier probably about a thousand feet less of climbing and i still had two bars left at the end of that so yeah i i think the fido x actually has got a really good battery range um i did have to work a little bit on some of the hills I didn't take it above level two, I just kept it in level two for pretty well much the whole ride. Um, for moderate climbs it was fine, but yeah, I did have to put a little bit of effort in on some of the steeper climbs, but all in all, I'm impressed. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video, hope you enjoyed the footage, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.